So because of all the great relationships that I've had, when this issue of, uh, of anti-Black systemic racism happened and George Floyd, I go, I have a platform. I have great relationships, great connections with all these different CEOs because of stuff that they've done to, for them in helping them in their, in their day, you know, to save their jobs, to defend their companies against hostile takeover bid. But yet over the years, I've now started to experience my blackness a lot more. I start to see that I'm the only person in the boardrooms. I start to realize that I'm the only person in my neighborhood. I start to realize, I start to, my blackness comes to me very, very quickly. And I realize the unfairness of the system and how difficult it is for people to actually break through that, uh, you know, that cultural divide. And, uh, you know, so when George Floyd got murdered, I was busy doing all these different things. And then I realized that I have a voice that nobody else in this country has. And I have to use that voice, but I recognize the fact that if I use the voice, it might come at, at a cost to me. It might come at a cost to my business, and a cost to the relationship that I've built because these are the people who are not, who are preventing black people from being in the boardroom, being in the C-suite. And now I, I have to bring attention to that unjust injustice.